Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our Cubase video tutorials. And today we're going to learn how to color code your tracks. So this is a, this is part of a routine. Okay, this is part of a routine that you should be following if you're doing any kind of modern music. Why do I say that? Well, uh, nowadays music has, um, the way we produce music, we use so many tracks, okay? I'm gonna make this example with only 16, with a single, like, like a, with a simple band kind of approach. But honestly, on today's music production, you got anywhere from 50, 60, 100 tracks per project. Uh, we use a lot of elements, a lot of instrumentation, you know, little beats and pieces here and there. And if you had to chase where things are by looking at the names of the tracks, you would spend a lot of time, okay, a lot of time. So my recommendation is that you color code your tracks depending on the track type, meaning that, okay, we have a drum kit, right? So let, what if we give all the tracks that are related to the drum kit the same color? That way, when you're scrolling through the session, you know uh, what's what without having to look at the name, okay? Maybe here you only have 16 and you'd be like, well, I mean, it's just 16 tracks, sure. But when you have 32, 48, you know, 50, 60 something, 100 plus tracks, trying to chase them with the name, it's just gonna take you too long. So uh, you should have a color code, uh, I guess, approach to this. So how do you do it? Well, very simple. If you want to color code tracks by a group of tracks, you could select the tracks by, let's say, clicking on the first one. Let's do the drums first, by the way. I'm gonna click on that kick track, and then while hold shift, I'm gonna go to the last one, which is that overhead, overhead right, and when you click on it and you release, you're gonna see that all kick, snare, tom, floor, overhead left, overhead right have been selected, okay? Now that they've been selected, if you go to project, colorize selected tracks, or you could also do Alt-Shift-C, uh, or project, colorize selected tracks, as I said, you'll have this little window here, colorize selected tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my drums blue. So let me pick this guy, color 11. So check what happens if I X that. Now my drums have that blue color next to them, okay? See that blue. Now, um, let's see, for example, my electric guitars. I have two electric guitars. I could, once again, click, shift, click on the next one. Now I have both of them. Let's make it like green, like a light green, like that, okay? So now I know my drums are blue, my electric guitars are kind of like light green. Let's do our acoustics. Once again, click on the first one, hold shift, click on the next one, both are selected. Project, colorize. Let me try this a little darker green. So now electrics and acoustics are different. Uh, keys, I have a synthesizer and a piano. So same thing, click, hold shift, click on the next one. Project colorize. I'm gonna make this like yellowish, kind of. Uh, let's do like orange, kind of like, kind of like that color, yellowish orange. I have vocals. I have a lead vocal, a background vocal left, and a background vocal right. So I'm gonna click on the first one, which is the lead. Hold shift. Click on the last one. All three are selected. I'm gonna make this like, um, like a lighter blue, kind of like that color nine. So now I have my drums, my electric guitars, my acoustics, keys, and vocals all color coded. Now, didn't color code the bass. Um, you could simply click on it and do the same, you know, project colorize, or another method, you could click on it, make sure you're, you have your inspector here showing up. And here you can see, you know, bass, there's a name, and you know, your mute, your solos, and all of those parameters, right? But to the right of the name, there's that little arrow, little arrow. If you click on it, it opens that colorize window. I can select purple and now X that. 
Now, everything has been color-coded. Drums are blue, my bass is purple, my electrics are uh, uh, light green, acoustics are dark green, my keys are kind of like yellowish, orange, kind of, and then uh, light blue over my vocals. So now when you're scrolling through the session, it's easy. It's a visual cue, so you know who is who. Now, my recommendation is that if you use this uh, color coding scheme, you use it on every single session so that every single one of your sessions or every single one of your uh, projects have drums, let's say, dark blue or bass purple or, you know, vocals light blue. The color decision is totally on you. Just You just need to make sure that you always use and you repeat the same color so there is consistency within projects. So that's color coding in Cubase. That's it for today. Uh, if you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.